I'm Tara, a hair specialist here at Super Hair Pieces. Tape and hair extensions come with many benefits. They can make your hair look fuller, thicker, and longer. They also don't take hours to install and with practice can be done on your own. However, one of the biggest benefits is that you can reuse them multiple times after your first installation. Reapplying and removing tape and extensions can be tricky. So I'll show you some of the tips and tricks professionals use. For this process, you'll need a few supplies. Adhesive removers, shampoos, clips, and tape tabs. Our extensions from Super Hair Pieces can be worn for six to eight weeks before maintenance. They can be reinstalled a total of three to four times depending on how well maintained they are. It is always a great idea to move the natural hair away from the tape extensions before any removals. A popular option for holding up the hair is our crock clip. It has good hold and prevents the hair from falling making the removal process easier to see. You'll want to use an adhesive remover or solvent to loosen the tape. We have tons of options over at our website, www.superhairpieces.com. We recommend our hair extension remover from Walker Tape or KP Solvent, which are alcohol-based removers and leave no residue. Apply a generous amount over the tape and let it soak. It will break down the adhesive by dissolving it without leaving any residue. After a few minutes, you should be able to easily peel the tape extension away from the hair. Using your fingernails to start the peel is the most effective way to start the removal. Keep in mind that tape and extension should not stick to your natural hair. Apply more remover and soak for a few more minutes. At this point, you want to give your natural hair a quick wash. This rids any leftover residue. It also helps the next tape last longer. We recommend the Extension Prep Shampoo, which was specifically designed to remove residue before installing extensions again. Lay the extensions flat with the sticky side up to start removing the old tape tabs off. Apply hair extension release to remove the adhesive on the extensions. Again, saturate and rub the remover into the adhesive. After waiting a few minutes, you can start removing the tape. If you still have oils or adhesives left behind, apply a drop of dish soap on the tab and work it in. Rinse the extensions using shampoo and conditioner and let them dry completely before applying a new tab. Once the tape has been removed and the extensions are dried, you'll want to reapply tape on the tabs. We offer pre-cut tabs specifically designed for our hair extensions. Just pull off the backing and apply it on the tab. Remember to keep the other side of the tape on until you're actually reapplying the extensions. Once you are ready to apply it to the clean and dry natural hair, you can remove the other side of the tab to attach. Attach them as you would on a new install. And that's it. You're not only gonna be saving money for not having to pay for a reinstall, but you're also prolonging the use of your tape-ins. One thing to mention, if you find the reinstallation process difficult, consider asking a friend or family member for some help. Otherwise, you can visit a salon. My name is Tara, and I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.